How's it going everybody? Nick Daniels here, aka Raw Footage, and uh, we're giving you folks another review here today on a movie called Get Out. Um, now this has actually been out for a little while. This is uh, not something that's super new, uh, but still came out, came out a little bit ago. Um, I'll look up the year there and put it in the title. So obviously there's going to be some spoilers, uh, so you have been warned. Um, so anyway, I watched this movie last night um, with some people, and we kind of got our thoughts across, and you know, you move on. Uh, I think it was an hour and 37 minute movie, so, you know, you know not, uh, not particularly long, but enough to, you know, obviously get what needed to be done. So, going through with the plot, um, and again, spoilers, um, I felt really unsatisfied at the end of the, at this film. So, basically, the general concept is uh, this young black man and his white girlfriend are going uh, to her family's. Uh, or her family story, like to meet the family, and then ironically, there's like some big uh, relative thing where everyone shows up, and it's like some party, and he's very concerned that they're not gonna like that he's black, right? That that he doesn't know about that, right? Like he thinks that's something maybe you should mention, maybe it's not a big deal, don't really know, whatever. So there's a couple hints throughout the movie um, that kind of tell you obviously something's going wrong. Um, you see it in the actual trailer. Um, that shit's going real and the movie even starts by taking out somebody so you kind of know there's obviously something going on there you just don't 100 percent know what's going on yet so he shows up at the party and actually if anything everything seemed really well um almost too nice right uh everything was going really well yeah he, uh, he talks to the father and he and he makes a really distinct note um notion about obama Right, that he would have voted for Obama again, that kind of thing. And Obama, obviously, blank, being a black president. So, kind of that setting the mood is you'll hear that a couple times throughout the, the movie. I, I did, and I did notice a few of them where they would be like a black athlete or somebody that, you know, that's a figure. Just making sure that, you know, they're, they're, they're reassuring him almost, um, you know, that they don't have anything against a black person, which I thought was interesting uh, because clearly I don't necessarily don't, I don't think that they do. But as we talk about this review a bit more, you'll find out what's going on. Oh, my. Um, so anyway, that kind of being said, um, he's at this party. And there's a couple cutaways of, uh, you know, there'll be somebody else there who's, uh, you know, doing work in the yard. Right. So they'll be like, you know, cleaning the gardens. Uh, one of them's like a maid, that kind of thing. But they're all black. Right. So right away, I thought actually that they were just being enslaved but like in the modern era, right? Like we're talking, but like it doesn't make any sense, right? But maybe that was what's going on. Um, now that that would have been a good thought, and I thought it was. But technically speaking, um, they're being hypnotized by the mother. Now she um, she ends up like basically doing that to him, but not to the point that he was like bone zoned. It was just that he got slightly hypnotized, and you know he's calling up his buddy. He's telling them, like, you know, shit's going real. And then he's noticing little things, like his phone's, phone's being unplugged. Uh, there was one scene where he goes upstairs actually to get the phone, and then the whole party stops talking, right? Now, obviously, he didn't know that, but they stopped talking. So, again, shows that everyone there was in on whatever was going on. Now, getting later into the movie, uh, there's a lot of little scenes that are kind of detailed later on, um, and you understand what the, what, what, what the hell's happening. Um, like the maid is always making sure her hairline is just perfect while she's doing so because um, she's got a fucking scalp line right here where they fucking um, did something to her head um, and she obviously can't have Buddy finding out. Now, near more near the end of the movie, he finds what's going to happen. Um, is there actually going to like transplant um, you know, someone else's basically brain into his? So he'll he'll still slightly be there. Like a very, I don't even know if like all of them would be there, but like he just won't have control, uh, and then whoever is in there will have full control of his body, so they can like basically have this like second life, um, per se. So he finds that out, and unironically, he finds a way to get through the hypnosis because it actually relies on sound, so he blocks, is able to block out his hearing for a minute, um, and he ends up taking out all the family members. I thought it was really interesting that he killed all of them um, very easily. Uh, that was something I like maybe yeah he was under the spell 
but like he just goes like full on like fucking John Wick dude he just kills them all like no remorse no nothing he just eliminates everybody and I thought that was kind of like a little bit over the top um you know the way that it was done it just looked like a little bit it looked a little wonky to me like if you were doing that you'd be kind of freaking out but he seemed pretty calm um, and, and the ending itself was like really odd. The buddy came up with the friend, um, who's supposed to be almost like comedic relief in a thriller. And it's not even like a hug or anything. It's like, literally he just like says nothing and they go, which I guess would make sense. Cause he just killed like five people. Uh, but yeah, like, like the whole thing, I was like, just at the end of it, I was like, what the fuck is this man? So I found it was like a very anticlimactic video. Uh, but like ironically like the girls like the, the the girlfriends in on it like they're all in on it So yeah, he takes out like he takes out whoever's at the house still which was pretty good actually I was pretty satisfied with that uh, sorry. Uh, but Just not the way that it was it was handled. I wasn't a, a big fan of that uh, But anyway totally check out this movie though. I still think it's good um, And there's definitely some suspense in there but uh, probably could have been done a little bit better, unfortunately, I have to say that. Um, so thank you so much for watching, everybody. That's kind of just my general thoughts. Not a bad film. Could be done a little bit better. We talked about the plot, kind of, again, what I interpreted from things while I was watching it. Um, and I guess we'll just have to see in the next movie review or video, whatever. All right. Peace.